What's up brothers, this is part 2 of my retarded menu making series using my custom menu library. Today we'll be adding some buttons and I'll be explaining how the page system works, let's not waste time and get into it gamers. So in this library, the menu holds pages and the pages holds buttons, so we'll first create a page then add buttons to that page, then after that, add the page to the menu, simple. So, start off by creating a page variable, this is the absolute first page of the menu. Now we will add a new button to the page, using the add button function inside the page template object, then we will pass in a create button argument as the button we will add. The first argument inside the create button function should be the title of the button, the next one is going to be the function you want to run when the button is pressed down. So let's create a new function and a new bool, the function will just switch the bool on and off, this will toggle our flying. Now let's add the toggle fly function into the button to make it work. Then add the page that we just created to the menu to make it render it. Now if we would build the project and add it to our plugins folder then there should be an interactable button on the menu with the appropriate title. Now let's hop into the game. Now, if you would want a menu with multiple pages then keep watching. Go to my GitHub page for this library and go into the example class.cs, there you'll find two functions for increasing the page and decreasing it. Paste them into the main class. Now you can remove the add button statement because we are going to replace it. Create a new button template array called page1 buttons. This will hold every button object that will render on our first page, we'll do the same with the second page too. These buttons will use the toggle fly function temporarily, you would not want that when making an actual menu but we will do it when testing. Add the buttons to the page. Now add two buttons at the bottom of the array list, these will decrease and increase the current page of the menu. Make sure to change the targeted function of the buttons to the increase and decrease page functions. Now create the second array of buttons, these will be used for the page too, just copy it over. Change all the buttons names to match the page. In a real menu you'd want these buttons to actually do something by the way. Now create a new page object and name it page 2. And do the same things as we did with page 1. But change it to be page 2. Now you are done, rebuild and go into the game to test it. I forgot one thing. If you want a button to just trigger a function and will not be toggleable then add a false statement as the last argument in the create a button function. Now you can go into the game. Welp that was everything, if you want to learn more, then go to my github page and look through the comments inside the code to understand it better, or you can just look at the source code inside your project. If you want help or you want to have some fun then join my discord, link in the description.